to another Sunday school class. And today we have Jacob. Jacob, what church are you from? Santa Bernab, Springfield, Virginia. Today our story is about St. Vishoy. So we will talk about when we celebrate his feast. So it is July 15. Can you say that? July 15. July 15. In the Coptic month, it's a peep? Eight. Can you say that? A peep eight. Nine. Seventeen? Seventeen. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. And we listen to his story in the Senexarium and the liturgy on that day. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. So we're going to hear our story today. So, the great Emba Bishoy, he loved Jesus so much, and Jesus loved him as well. But let's find out how that happened. He was raised with five brothers, all by his mom, like by his mom only, because his dad died at a very young age. But his mom raised them in the correct Christian faith. One day, an angel appeared to his mom and told her, the Lord says to give me one of your children to be my servant. And his mom answered and said, you can choose whichever servant, but if you want to choose all of them, that's fine. The angel took Amba Bishoy and he told his mother that God chose Bishoy to serve him and he'll be a great saint. So nice. Imagine that. You could be one too. After years, Bishoy raised up and he became a great monk and an honest servant. And he was modest and all the people loved him. Emba Bishoy loved God from all his heart, and God loved Emba Bishoy as well. God always appeared to Emba Bishoy and several times. Every time God appeared to Emba Bishoy, he strengthened him and encouraged him to keep going. He never left him. Can you tell me what we've learned so far? Jesus picked Emba Bishoy to be a servant. Perfect. So one day, all the monks found out that Jesus will appear to them, including Abba Bishoy too. He heard that too. And he told them that they need to go to the mountain at sunset. So it's around around like 6 p.m., right? That's when the sun goes down. So that they can meet Jesus there and he will meet them there. Would you be running to get there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? You want to see Jesus. So you're going to be running and getting to that place as fast as you can right? So all the monks were running, but guess what? They saw an old man on the side of the road, and the old man asked them, why are you running so fast? They told him, oh, because Jesus said he's going to meet us at the mountain at sunset, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, well, I want to see Jesus too. But a lot of the monks refused and said, no, I'm so sorry, we can't help you. It's going to take a long time and we have to like go, like it's really, we're in a rush, right? But guess what happened after? Amba Bishoy was running and then he saw the old man and he found out that he wanted to see Jesus as well. Yeah. So Amba Bishoy carried him and he felt that he was so light. As he kept going, the old man got heavier and heavier. And Amba Bishoy, did he get tired or no? No. He didn't get tired, that's great, good job. When Amba Bishoy started to realize that he's actually carrying Jesus. He's not carrying the old man. And Bishoy looked at him and said, I'm a sinner, how can you let me carry you? And the Lord told him, Behold Bishoy, because you carry me, your body will never see corruption. And the monks lost their chance to meet the Lord. So they all couldn't meet Jesus because he was the one that met them on the road, but they were all so focused on something else, on meeting God, but up the mountain. But you can meet God anywhere, right? So they all lost the chance. Amba Bishoy loved God and loved to serve, to serve the weak. So he saw that the old man was so weak and couldn't get up and go up the mountain. He decided to go up and help him, right? What do you think our verse for today is? Strengthen the weak's hands. Strengthen the weak's hands. And make firm. And make firm. The herbal knees. The herbal we Isaiah Isaiah 35 35 verse 3 verse 3 we'll see you guys next week bye, bye.